I've been to a lot of barbecues and boys weekends around Australia and let me tell you there's always some joker there with some crazy way of cooking a steak. But let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, sit down and take notes because I'm the expert here. I'm going to show you how to cook the perfect steak. I'll give you one other tip. Pouring a stubby of beer over the steak in the barbecue does nothing to improve the flavour or tenderness of a steak. What it does is it's a waste of good beer. Now what you need to start with is Australian beef, grass fed beef and here I've got a beautiful T-bone steak that I got from my butcher. Now what you need to do is, you can say this out aloud, salt loves meat and meat loves salt. You need to put salt on your meat because that's what brings out the flavour. Don't worry about putting any salt on the veggies, you'll see there's no veggies here, no one eats the veggies anyway. You need plenty of salt on the meat because that's what makes it tasty. Look at that, salt all over it on every bit of side there so you make sure you get a good covering of it. So every piece of meat that you put in your mouth tastes like a delicious piece of meat, the way it should be. Also some pepper as well, a little twist of pepper on both sides and just turn it over. Look at this T-bone steak. Now here's a little tip, what I do is get a little bit of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil or it doesn't matter, whatever olive oil you've got, just put a little drizzle on each side and just sort of rub it in. What you want to do is help transfer the heat from the actual barbecue, the Oz pig, into the steak or onto the steak. Now what I've got is my Oz pig is nice and hot and I've got the grill on, this thing's rearing to go. A good medium to hot heat, you want to actually sear the steak. Now what you need to do is get a beautiful, I could eat it like this, what you need to do is pop it straight on here and get it cooking. On it goes. Hear that sizzle, a little bit of smoke coming off it, that's what you want. You want to sear the meat to lock in all that moisture. Now here's the thing, what I try and do is keep turning that steak. You want the juices, before they're going to escape through the top, you want to turn the steak over so the juices just turn around inside the meat. It's almost like, like cooking a suckling pig. Look at that, nice hot hit, that's seared. I'm going to keep turning this every couple of minutes or so until it's nice and juicy. I like it medium rare, this will take about 10 minutes. I can't wait for this one. Now I've cooked my steak to a nice medium rare. Now it's really important to rest your steak for at least half the cooking time. And to help the resting, I put a little bit of butter on top just so it melts into the steak. Look at that. Tell you what, just because we're in the bush doesn't mean we need to miss out on the finer things in life.